This is shocking and appalling uh, news that an innocent student from the United Kingdom has been sentenced to life imprisonment by a friendly country in the Gulf when he was doing nothing more in the United Arab Emirates than researching for his PhD uh, thesis. I'm also extremely concerned to hear reports that the hearing lasted five minutes, he wasn't allowed to have his lawyer present, and that the foreign media were also barred from this process. It's completely unacceptable, and I'm seeking urgent clarification and more details from the Foreign Office. I hope to speak to the uh, Foreign Minister, Alistair Burt, uh, this afternoon to see what the British government uh, intends to do as a result of this travesty. Well, I think we're all absolutely devastated. I mean, Daniela, his wife, who is on her way back to the UK as we speak, she's been with him uh, in recent days since he was released on bail because he has mental health problems. Uh, she's been looking after him and preparing him for this court appearance. I think her and all of our hopes were raised when, after spending five months in solitary confinement, he was finally released on bail and allowed to live with his uh, stepfather uh, in the UAE. Uh, but, and I think, you know, those hopes appear now to have been dashed and we need to understand why, we need to understand what on earth has been going on and we also need to uh, have a clear uh, statement from the British government about what they have been doing and what they intend to do now. Well, that's a matter for the Foreign Office. I have also asked to speak to the Ambassador here again uh, as soon as I can. Uh, and, but obviously the, the representations that have been made by me and others and by uh, people up, up to and including the Foreign Secretary have not worked. And, you know, we have very close and friendly relations with the UAE. Regardless of what uh, the government decides to do, I think those relations will be affected by this. Uh, we have very close academic relations. That's one of the reasons he was there. There's a lot of uh, UAE investment in this country and higher education. And, and even closer relationships with the UAE than there is with Saudi Arabia. And just as I think our relations with Saudi Arabia are being reassessed, I cannot see how something like this is not going to impact the relationship that we have with the UEA. I don't want, to, I don't want that to happen, uh, but I think the government needs to, needs to um, give us a clear idea about what it thinks needs to happen now to ensure that this innocent British man is released and can come home to his family. I'll get that little piece of danger, of course. Thank you.